Guys, before you all take off, let's talk some value plays. And flashback to yesterday because, Paul, you absolutely nailed it. Here's a quick clip. Matt Boldy is enjoying a very nice run. Six points in his last six games, along with 16 shots on goal. Solid two-way play. The guy's been on fire since he joined the big club. Plus 10 and 10 points in his 12 games played as a pro. All right, man. Matt Boldy with a hattie and an apple last night. Rack it up more than 51 DK fantasy points, Paul. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Who are you looking at tonight for some value? Come on. You got to hit this again. Make the people some money. All right. Well, you notice the Edmonton Oilers looking a little bit better now. Ryan Nugent Hopkins back in the lineup. $4,900. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Nine points his last 10 games. 28 shots on goal. Faces Los Angeles. Good matchup for him. Look at the Ottawa top line. Nick Paul is surrounded by a lot of talent there. $3,600 his price tag. He's chipped in with six points and 29 shots on goal as well in the last 10. I like the call on Alex Tuck that Pete brought up earlier, so I won't uh, repeat what he said, but basically great pick at 4900 bucks. And finally, Andre Palat playing with two studs on Tampa's top line. He might be the best pick of all, $4,800, eight points, 24 shots on goal. I think those numbers go up tonight. All right, Pete, give us someone who's going to score 51 DK fantasy points tonight. <laughs> Well, I love Granlin from the from the Nashville Predators centering one of the best top lines in the league this season with Philip Forsberg and Matt Duchesne. Forsberg's better than a point per game, and uh, Duchesne is very close to a point per game this season with 43 and 44 games. Granlin having a bounce back season of his own, 39 points in 46 games, doesn't have uh, the highest shot volume, but when you look at a component, a key integral piece of that top line where those guys are scoring every single night it seems and Granlin's only priced at 4300 against the Washington Capitals who are giving up a ton of goals lately they've lost three of their past four and in those three losses they've allowed four plus goals in each so the Capitals have been a little leaky they're missing some guys they haven't been the same Capitals so jump on Granlin tonight AJ your top value play Guys, I'm out. I, I, I can't I can't be on this show if all we're gonna do is tout Paul all the time. I hear enough of this stuff. I don't need to I don't need repeats of this. <laughs> it was it was a great call by Paul last night. He got lucky for once, you know. Oh, every yeah. every blind squirrel finds a nut, you know it happens. So. Using my lines too, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh for for me, uh look, I think the Rangers are gonna win tonight. Boston is missing those two big cogs, but that doesn't mean they're completely no, you know, no value team here. And if you can get Eric Halla in your lineup for 3,500, you know, you're not going to find a cheaper first line center uh, on the DK sport or on the, the DraftKings board tonight. So I really think he's still worth a shot. He's going to be on the second power play unit. It looks like, so he's got some value there as well. Um, and if everybody else is on the Rangers, it gives you a little bit of a contrarian play by using somebody from Boston. I think it'll be the Rangers winning, but, Boston will get some goals for sure, and why not Holland? 